Ready for a new do in 2020? If you've been feeling meh about your hair lately, a brand new decade is the perfect time to change up your look. From curls to shags to, oh my god, the Rachel, we tap the experts to reveal the hottest hairstyle trends for 2020. It looks like a good bob never goes out of style. The iconic hairstyle gained popularity back in the 60s, and it shows no signs of stopping. Is it too short? No. <gasps> oh, where did my hair go? <laughs> In fact, 2020 is going to be the biggest year yet for the classic look. Natalie James, CEO and owner of Vent Blow Dry Bar, says, All different styles of bobs are coming back, and in a big way. Bobs are great and easy to manage, wash and go. While a bob is a sure bet for the new year, it's not something you just want to dive right into, especially if you're starting with long hair. For a no-regrets approach, James says, We recommend a slow transition, starting with a longer style bob first. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Bobs aren't the only retro cut predicted to reign supreme in 2020. Master colorist and artistic director Lindsay Barbuto claims we should expect a blast from the past, saying, As we approach a new decade, we are going to see some fun cuts come back from the 1970s and 1980s. Surprisingly, the iconic shag is expected to make its triumphant return. But Barbuto says it's been reinvented with more layers and textures. She added, This will be an updated, more sophisticated look from the metal 80s hair. I think it's nice to frame your face. Barbuta says the style works well with all sorts of face shapes. Jessica Puglia, hairstylist and owner of The Hair Mansion, agrees, saying, Short or long, a shag haircut can and will work for almost anyone. Even if you didn't rock it the first time around, you now have a second chance to slay one of the most famous hairstyles of the 90s. I mean, Jennifer Aniston has amazing hair. Seriously, let's just start with that. Natalie James says, The 90s are back in a big way. We're going to see the 90s trend continue into 2020 with the Rachel cut coming back. Heavy layers, fringes, and minimal styling. While it might be a surprise that this style has returned, no one is more shocked than friend star Jennifer Aniston herself. She told Allure, I love my hairstylist Chris McMillan, and he's the bane of my existence at the same time because he started that damn Rachel, which was not my best look. How do I say this? I think it was the ugliest haircut I've ever seen. He uh, was, was loaded when he gave me the haircut. <laughs> this is true. And he, uh, he didn't think about like, oh, she's going to have to do this herself. But plenty of fans were obsessed with the look, and the Rachel became the staple haircut of the decade. And as we all fall in love with the rebooted look once again in 2020, we can only wonder if Aniston will embrace her iconic style once again, at least on other people. The Rachel haircut. It was like the haircut, and I'm pretty sure like no TV show since has had a haircut named after it. <laughs> If you didn't embrace microfringe when it was hot back in 2018, this season is the perfect time to try it. Odile Jobert, the hairstylist behind Emma Watson's Baby Bangs, told Vogue Australia, I think baby bangs are always in fashion. It can be long or short hair depending on the face. It's always cute and young. It's very French. I guess it's very charming. But before you grab the scissors, we all know that with bangs this short, there's no pulling them back or off to the sides if you feel like changing your look. If you want to dip a toe into the pool without getting wet, Jobert recommends trying out fake bangs to get a feel for the style. <gasps> Wait, did you cut your actual I hair? cut my actual hair. In addition to little bangs, Jessica Puglia says long bangs are going to be hot for 2020. But as always, she reminds prospective fringe fans, ask your stylist to create the best bang for your face shape. It definitely is a lot more work, so I would caution anyone considering to cut their bangs. Samantha Stonehouse, senior stylist at Canada-based Calyx Salon, says, Square-shaped faces often look best with soft bangs that hit at the temples, and heart and round-shaped faces can often pull off basically anything. Stonehouse explained that bangs draw attention to the area of the face where they end, telling Chatelaine, Flattering bangs should frame and focus on your positive features, not overwhelm or cover up your face. You should try it sometime. It's like a cleanse for, like, your face. They're bangs. They're right. Congratulations. Get ready to break out your best OG Charlie's Angels. Everybody knows Charlie's Angels, of course. They were like the first badass if I can say that. Lindsay Barbuto says, The Farrah Fawcett feathered layers will be the ultimate cut for 2020. The long layers work great for all types of hair and great for longer hair as it adds body and bounce. Celebrity hairstylist Ted Gibson told HuffPost that in the 70s, Farrah Fawcett was the star who introduced women to a softer way of wearing their hair. And according to Alan Edwards, the stylist behind Fawcett's iconic cut, the look calls for shorter layers around the face. He told stylist, What made it different was that it wasn't full on top. It was flatter, and the fairer part was the edges, which went flipping back. In addition to those iconic layers, this cut truly comes to life depending on how you style it. Gibson explained, Use a large barrel curling iron in one-inch sections away from the face to achieve a modern interpretation on her look. And of course, don't forget you'll be needing all of the hairspray. This season's all about symmetry, at least when it comes to your part. 
Jessica Puglia says. Middle parts are back putting a spin on the 70s straight look. Right now, you may be picturing super long hair to go with that center part. But Edward Tricomi, hairstylist and co-founder of Warren Tricomi Salons, says he expects shoulder-length cuts to be popular in 2020. Sandra Petru, hairstylist at Maxine Salon in Chicago, also predicts that medium-length cuts will be a hot go-to style. Thankfully, your hair doesn't need to be very long to pull off the look. Frank James Debrino, hairstylist and owner of New York-based Twisted Bang Salon, says that anything from a super short pixie to a layered bob will be, quote, rocking it big time with center parts. I think I'm ready. Woo! Where are we going tonight? Super short dudes are coming back in a big way. Chicago-based Sandra Petru says these microcuts read as fresh and fun, and conjure the confidence to quote help women to think bold. Looking ahead to the warmer springs and summer months, Frank James Debrino says, short, chic, and sassy, topped off with cool, fun colors will be making a splash for the summer. It felt nice to, to cut all my long hair off and go to short hair. Of course, you don't need to wait until it gets hot to rock a shorter style. The pixie cut, which was popular in late 2019, will just keep going strong all year, according to Cecilia Morales from Stylecraft US. And Marius Morph, owner of Prep Salon in San Francisco, also feels strongly that the pixie will be a 2020 favorite. If you're already doing a soft, layered pixie, you can up the ante in 2020 by changing the way you style it. Sandra Petru predicts, Short hair is more versatile than you think and is going to be in for 2020, especially when worn with a slick, gelled look. The slick back pixie was in, back in 2014 and 2015, and we're beyond excited to see it making a comeback. Celebrity hairstylist and columnist Jen Atkin told Elle magazine, The look is very sleek and chic. It portrays sophistication and confidence as the hair is off the face. I'm going to show you a fresh look for the new year. Hairstylist Michael Duenas explained how to get the bold style. Telling Refinery29, you begin by misting your hair with water. Next, rub a liberal amount of high shine pomade between your hands and run your fingers through your hair. Then give your hair a deep side part and begin combing your hair back with a wide tooth comb. Finish the look with hairspray and you're ready to take on the world. If you're sick of straightening or chemically treating your hair and have been dreaming of rocking your natural texture, 2020 is going to be your year. Marius Morph predicts cuts that showcase curly tresses are going to be the thing this season. Additionally, Stylecaster reported that natural hair was all over the runway for New York Fashion Week Spring 2020 lines, proving that natural hair is going to be a serious hair trend throughout the year. And we can all agree, it's about time. If you usually get your hair cut with a straightened style in mind, just let your hairstylist know you plan to wear your hair in its natural state. You may also want to consider booking an appointment at a salon that specializes in curly hair. With that, you can have your locks cut in a way that really lets natural hair shine. I love it because it's just natural and it's me and it's big and I love it. <laughs> In 2020, all sorts of protective cuts and styles are expected to dominate. Frank James Debrino says, Braids, braids, and more braids will adorn the hair fashion trend for 2020, and they will be accessorized with fabric, headbands, scarves, and trinkets. Cornrows and Zulu knots surrounded by loose curls and romantic waves will be a pop culture trend, especially on ethnic hair. There's so many different forms of beauty out there, and it's important to show them all. Zulu or Bantu knots may be more popular in 2020, but celebrities like Rihanna have been rocking the look since 2016. Of course, the style didn't originate with a celebrity set. Record of the hairstyle dates all the way back to 1898, according to Ebony Magazine. And Naturally Curly's branded content editor Geraldine Hayes told the outlet, Bantu knots are also known as Zulu knots because the Zulu people, a Bantu ethnic group, are the originators of the look we love and wear today. Bantu knots are a visual reminder of the origins of humanity, which may intrinsically be a key to their charm. Since these knots are also a protective style, they're perfectly suited for naturally curly locks. While you may see more medium-length cuts in 2020, long hair isn't exactly going out of style. But instead of lengthy layers, Edward Tricomi says to expect, quote, long blunt cuts cut straight across. Celebrity hairstylist Mark Townsend told Real Simple, For years and years, it was all about layers. Then around 2015, those layers evolved into even more of a modern shag. It's only normal that as these shags and layered lobs grew out, ladies would want a fresh start. By chopping off their ends, the blunt trend was started. Time is money, you come with me. Townsend explains that giving your ends a blunt chop not only looks chic, it helps improve the health of your hair. He added, So many girls are holding on to these scraggly ends, but as soon as they go blunt, it's like they're a new woman. The year 2020 is going to be a welcome change of pace for those of us who want to show off our natural hair with a new cut. But no matter what look you choose, there's no reason you can't fake your length. Edward Tricomi proclaims, Extensions will be trending. We'll be seeing a lot of extension bangs, ponytails, tape and extensions, and clip-ins. Extensions are for sure a growing worldwide trend. Who wouldn't want to quickly switch up their look? According to industry reports, by 2023, the global hair extensions and wigs market is expected to exceed $10 billion in revenue. And it's easy to see why they're becoming so popular. Celebrity hairstylist Priscilla Vias says as long as you use them correctly, extensions won't damage your natural hair. Clip-in, sew-in, glue-in, and tape-in extensions all last for around two months. 
months, according to Baez, who told Good Housekeeping, I have clients who have had extensions for 15 years, and every six weeks, we remove them and put them back in. Hey, whatever it takes to rock your look. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos about your favorite styles are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.